Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. This week saw the return of our summer reception for parliamentarians and I was absolutely delighted that 51 MPs uh, came in and saw us. In all we had 74 attendees, so members from the House of Lords as well. And it was the first opportunity really for the new chair of the EFRA Select Committee, Sir Robert Goodwill, to give his thoughts to everybody. I was delighted to have alongside me my deputy, Tom Bradshaw, David Exford as vice president, the team from NFU Cymru of Abby Reader and Alan Jones, alongside our commodity board chairman and the young ambassadors who do such a fabulous job for us as well. So Sir Robert laid out his thoughts uh, on food security, cost inflation, the challenges that we are facing into. Um, I'm delighted to be working with him. He's a farmer up in Yorkshire well known to us. He was, of course, a former immigration minister back in the day when we could actually get to see immigration ministers. That's still proving fairly challenging, but I'm hoping that we uh, will be able to get Kevin Foster as immigration minister out on farm soon, because, of course, those challenges on Labour just do not go away. If anything, the situation continues to get more serious. So great attendance and, and really good to have such engagement right across uh, all political parties, which, of course, is so important for us. And a theme in, in many ways that was picked up at the Groundswell event. I was there on Thursday of this week. It was my first visit to Groundswell, but I was amazed by the number of farmers I knew from right across the country. Um, fair to say, a, a lot of parents there my age uh, with the children who'd sort of said, right, we need to go to this. And I, I think that is actually the, the great driving strength of Groundswell. There is such involvement with young people, you know, really progressive farmers wanting to learn from each other. Sort of regenerative agriculture mixing, you know, with the new innovations and new technologies that are that are coming on stream now and in, in the future. So well done to the Cherry family who organise it fabulous event and I was on a panel with uh, Secretary of State George Eustace, Natalie Bennett from the Green Party and Tony Juniper as Chair of Natural England and this was all uh, chaired by uh, Rosie Boycott who of course is well known to many of us and indeed a fair while ago now when Rosie was Chair of the London Food Board I was on it and it was a really good panel discussion I have absolutely no doubt that the whole of the audience there is, is really keen, as indeed we are at the NFU, that government does sort of set, if you like, that the baseline metrics for soil analysis, particularly looking on organic matter, um, but also carbon sequestration as well. I, I have been worried for a long time that government sees trees as, as carbon sequestration and doesn't recognise the role of a farmed landscape, particularly grasslands and their ability to store much more carbon than we can store with trees. So that was a resounding message that was put across to the Secretary of State and we believe coalescing effectively around a, a GB UK approach um, for not only defining uh, actually what the baseline metrics should look like, but really one tool to make sure that we have uniformity I think there's a real danger. And I said to the Secretary of State, you know, if we're not careful, you know, the value of carbon is going to slip through farmers fingers and it'll be heading off along with many other things to the realm of, of private equity and desktop analysis. It's, it's got to have integrity, this market, and it's got to be based on actually what is in the soil. So that was a message widely supported, as you can imagine there. But it is full on show season, uh, all the shows in, in full swing. And I know um, myself and David and Tom uh, have been flat out and really enjoy attending them. It's, it's wonderful to get face to face with so many of our members again. So a whirlwind trip through as ever. Um, but I really look forward to speaking to you again uh, next week and updating you further. And in the meantime, please do take care. And I really look forward to speaking to you then. Many thanks.